okay so to apply blast load i'll consider this line as the surface line of the bridge so this will be around deck near to deck okay so now as this is my base what i'll do is i will create a midpoint so let's say i want my blast to be somewhere here okay that means let's say one meter or two meter above the deck surface okay so first i have to do i have to create a midpoint for the deck surface because i don't know what where is the midpoint for the deck surface so i'll select two point to get a midpoint so as soon as you select this two point you'll get a datum point here so this datum point will, will be available here so we'll just expand this this is the data point that I have just now created. Now, if you see this, this is exactly switch on this exactly at the surface of the text level. So I have to decide at what height the blast will occur. So I have to go to interaction and then again long press this one. This one we have used to create a midpoint between two points. Now I'll use this one to get a point just about one meter so most probably i'm working in yes meter okay i'm working in meter so i'll again use this press this and in y direction i need one meter or let's say two meter so in y direction i need two meter x will be zero y will be plus two and z will be zero so see i've got a point which is exactly two meter above now i have to assign a reference point there so this is the location where i'll conduct my blast now for blast analysis i don't need this frequency step i'll delete this and uh, i'll create a explicit and so I name it as explicit. I'll simulate the blast for 0 0.001 second. Okay, click OK. Now you can increase it for 0 0.01. Or the more time you take, the more will be the uh, duration required for the simulation. So click OK. Now go to interaction. First, I have to define the blast property. So it will be incident wave. Okay, now go to air blast or surface blast. Any of this, I'll go for air blast. Equivalent mass of TNT. Let's say I have uh, one kg of or two kg of TNT. Okay, or let's say 0.36 kg. Just example, and all this will be one. So just 3.36 kg of TNT. Done. Now I have to assign it. Go to incident web continue now select the reference point where blast will occur so this is my reference point where blast will occur click on this select the surfaces that will be affected so i'll select all the surfaces i'll select all the surfaces okay all the surfaces are affected and uh, i'll select circumferential Okay. Time of detonation. I want at zero second and uh, magnitude scale factor it will be one. Click okay. So now I have assigned the blast load. Okay. And boundary condition also I have to assign uh, you know, there's already there. One side is hinge, other side is roller. So now blast has been assigned. Now see I have right now simulated it at a distance of two meters. Now, if you need on this side, so similarly, you have to create a midpoint somewhere here, take a distance, then assign a reference point and use the blast loading. So now I'll just go to load. Oh, sorry, everything is done. Go to job. 
uh, and uh, you have already the job so you can create a new job because here i have six processor i am using six for you for you might be less processor so you can yeah, use that click ok and submit and wait for the analysis to be completed okay uh, some elements are included so if you just go here here i have say also selected the reinforcement bar so i have to hide the reinforcement bar i have to hide the reinforcement bar reinforcement hide and then cross reinforcement so reinforcements are hidden now source for surface for tile again deselect the surfaces click down click on so while selecting you can just unhide hide the you can hide the reinforcement bar and select So now it gets the result. Wait for the analysis to be completed and check the result. 